What are the benefits of multi-classing over gestalting? I am trying to get my head around understanding the benefit of multi-classing over gestalting. When multi-classing, each class is leveled up separately which hurts the overall progression of your character. Multi-class example. A character that multi-classed into, Warlock 3, Rogue 2 would have an ECL of 5 because it counts as two separate classes. So why not gestalt if it is allowed by the house that way both classes level at the same time? Gestalt example. A character that gestalted into, Warlock, Rogue level 5 would have ECL of 5 because it counts as one class. Bottom line. Unless I've understood something wrong, isn't gestalting superior in every way when it comes to a character's class progression? What are the advantages, disadvantages of choosing gestalt over multi-class and vice versa? Gestalt isn't a choice, it's a game variant, that's very important to understand when asking why you don't just do it, because it's not generally assumed that it's a valid option, the game doesn't necessarily say you can take feats and classes from books like Complete Arcane, but it's understood in the community that unless the campaign coordinator notes otherwise, Warlock is a valid class to play in D&D 3.5. Uneartheed Arcana, the book that introduces Gestalt characters, is more explicit about the role of the rule. The Gestalt character variant is particularly effective if you have three or fewer players in your D&D group, or if your players enjoy multiclassing and want characters with truly prodigious powers. This variant works only if every PC in the campaign is it, and it results in complicated characters who may overwhelm newer D&D players with an abundance of options. That second sentence is very important, it's not a choice, it's a fact of the characters using it and the campaign they're in.